I'm here to introduce powerful new tools to existing Fortnite creators, powerful new opportunities for professional developers. Fortnite is becoming an ecosystem. That means new tools to design, develop, and publish games, and a new economy that rewards developers. These updates bring us one step closer to Epic's vision of a connected metaverse where billions of players enjoy high quality creations made by millions of developers. At the center of this all is Unreal Editor for Fortnite, available today in public beta on Epic Game Store. It's a new PC application that brings the power of Unreal Engine to the scale of the Fortnite audience, deeply integrated with the game with new workflows that allow PC and all other platforms to create together fast and fluid. We call it UEFN for short. But first, let's talk about how we got here. Fortnite changed when we released Fortnite Creative four years ago. Creative is an in-game toolkit for players to make sandbox games inside Fortnite. And because of Creative, Fortnite is already much more than a game. It's already a place where players find games and developers find players. But why should you develop in Fortnite? Well, our players are highly social, content hungry, with over 500 million player accounts, massive PC presence, and the largest console player base is the best, most vibrant place for developers to find an audience quickly and publish new games. Islands built using creative tools already account for roughly 40% of playtime in Fortnite. That's billions of hours a year, and we expect that number to keep growing with UEFN. So this is a sample of games in Fortnite today. What we have noticed is that players are more engaged, they have more fun when they play Epic's own games like Battle Royale and community games made by creators like you. Like the combination is what makes Fortnite special and what is gonna help us all grow. As we've shown in Unreal Engine, Epic's mission is to deliver an awesome suite of tools for developers. Unreal Editor for Fortnite is for experienced game developers like many of you in this room, but it's also for the growing community of Fortnite Island creators that are ready for Unreal Engine's proven PC editor workflow. As you're gonna see in the demo coming up, UEFN and the existing creative toolkit is already a great combo for developer and Fortnite creator teams to make incredible experiences. Of course, our long-term goal is to make the entire feature set of Unreal Engine, or bring the entire feature set of Unreal Engine to UEFN, but also over time to expose many of the other services that Epic offers. Phil just announced Fab, Fab is launching today also inside UEFN in an alpha version. And products like MetaHuman will be coming to UEFN in the future to support your creative vision. For the next stage of Fortnite and ultimately the open metaverse, we also need brand new tools that solve really hard problems. Interoperability, scalability, and resilience are a real issue when you operate at this scale um, and, and expect this level of durability. This is what led us to develop Verse. It's a powerful new general programming language designed specifically for this purpose. You're gonna see us use it in the demo in just a moment. The second thing we're working towards is high interoperability between UEFN and Unreal Engine that'll enable you to take your work anywhere. And by the way, behind me is the new creator portal also launching today where you can manage all your islands, one click publish them to the world, and when you publish the UEFN, your original IP and your assets are yours to take anywhere. Now let's take a closer look at UEFN features and workflows. We put together a short video, and then we're gonna do a demo. Thank you. Let's start with the basics. Unreal Editor for Fortnite runs on PC and is integrated directly with Fortnite, so you have access to over four years of content, all for free, to get you started. What's special about UEFN is what we call Live Edit. Live Edit allows anyone on your team to join a UEFN session from any platform that runs Fortnite. That means someone can join from a console using the normal Fortnite client, and they're able to work alongside and collaborate with PC users. UEFN has access to all Fortnite creative devices, our modular gameplay systems that work in the in-game editor. This allows you to instantly add gameplay and quickly bootstrap your game from the hundreds of gameplay devices already available. The UEFN beta has many of the same features we use to create Fortnite, including the landscape editing toolset. You can edit the landscape to change the look of your island, or make sweeping changes to create something completely new, and then quickly play it in-game to check out the results. So even though you have access to tons of Fortnite content, with UEFN you can make content that looks nothing like Fortnite. This is a section from Forest Guardian, a tech demo built in UEFN that we are launching today. 
A big feature of UEFN is the ability to import your own custom assets. So we used a few 3D models, textures, and materials that we built just for the project. And all the lighting in the cave was made possible thanks to Lumen, our real-time global illumination system. You can also find more content like Quixel Megascans and Sketchfab models in our initial alpha release of the Fab plugin for UEFN. All assets are curated and optimized for use in Fortnite, and the full version of Fab will launch later this year. You can also create and modify materials, so you can change the look and feel of objects easily. And you can import skeletal meshes, and then animate using Sequencer and Control Rig. Everything you've just seen is available today in the public beta version of Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So it's a short video of just like the most condensed way we could show some of the like the more important workflows. But I think a much better way is to tempt fate and let's do a live demo on PC running on Fortnite public servers right here on stage. Uh, welcome Michael and Ray to the stage. Take it away. I'm glad that went well. <laughs> all right, hey folks, so let's talk about how all this was made. Michael here has the scene open in Unreal Editor so we can take a closer look. For the environment, we built this level using Quixel Megascan assets, many of which are available in the Fab UEFN plugin. We also used custom content that we built just for this demo. For the gameplay you just saw, we, ha we hand placed enemies using a creative device called a guard spawner which generates the aliens that you saw at specific locations. However, we wanted to do more and introduce dynamic play that goes beyond what the current creative devices can do. So to do this, we used our new programming language called Verse. So in this short section of code, every second we grab the position of the player. And for each spawn location, we then calculate the distance to the player. And if it's within a certain threshold, we tell that guard to spawn into the level. So now we have gameplay that's more reactive to the player's actions. This is just a short example of using Verse, but for a deeper dive, check out the Verse Tech Talk later today. Now Michael is going to show us how we put the intro cinematic together. Hi, everybody. So before the gameplay section, we played this quick cinematic uh, animation. This was actually created entirely in UEFN using Sequencer. Sequencer is our multi-track editor and it's been used in everything from in-game cinematics to Hollywood feature films. So let's take a look. Uh, and now all of this stuff is available right inside UEFN. So let's take a look at this last shot from a slightly different perspective. So the other thing we featured in this section was a bunch of Niagara. Niagara is now available in UEFN, and it's our uh, high-end VFX system. So, uh, and just like in the movies, you, get, you can frame up shots and have great effects. So what we're going to do here is just set this up. So just like in the movies, you can have slow-mo too. Makes everything better, right? <laughs> so this is just a sampling of some of the stuff that you can do inside Sequencer. But let's get back to the game. All right, so now that we're back in the game, in UEFN, you have access to Fortnite's time of day system. Or you could use what we did and do what we did and use a completely custom lighting solution. And thanks to Lumen, both daytime and nighttime look great. Now, let's go to the final gameplay section and let's close out the demo. But as a reminder, everything that you're seeing here was created in the same version of UEFN that we're releasing today. I think I'm gonna jump in here and help you, Ray. I'm all for that.
Ich mag. Thanks, Michael and Ray. Anyone, to, everybody that put this together. The, the, the demo came about when we asked the special projects team inside Epic that came straight off the Matrix demo to why don't you put UEFN through its paces? And one amazing fact about this demo is that it's less than 400 megs, it downloads and plays in less than a minute, and it plays on any platform that Fortnite runs on. Like, that is the promise of what UEFN is. So again, Unreal Editor Fortnite is available today in public beta in Epic Game Store. If you want an early glimpse of some other technical showcases that our internal teams made uh, with UEFN and Verse, check out Deserted Domination, Forest Guardian, and The Space Inside. All three are available to play right now in Fortnite Discover. So we've talked about brand new tools and the Fortnite ecosystem. Now I want to talk about the next generation of Fortnite's economy that both Epic and creators will participate in. We call it Creator Economy 2.0. Here's how it works. The money in the economy comes from player spending in the item shop. Fortnite generates billions of dollars a year in revenue from player purchases. Fortnite players who have fun engaging in islands tend to spend more in the item shop. Creators who make popular islands are bringing real value to the Fortnite ecosystem, and we're gonna share the resulting revenue with them. This is the engine powering a creator economy 2.0. We believe this so strongly, we will distribute 40% of Fortnite's global net revenue to eligible creators who publish games in Fortnite, both independent developers and Epic. Anything we make, like Battle Royale, Zero Build, also participates in the pool shared with creators. This will be the primary way that Epic will pay for our own game development in Fortnite going forward. This is transform. <sighs> Glad you feel it's a big deal, and I, I feel it's a big deal. So, so, um, this, is, this is transformative and a big gut check for us, too. We imagine thousands of third-party development teams building businesses and thriving with this model. Payments from the pool are based on performance of your island. We take into account data like island popularity, engagement, retention, attracting new players, and the benefit of this new approach is rooted in player fun and rewards everyone's creative work, both yours and Epic's. There's no need to design cunning monetization loops or extractive gating items. You make an island the players love that is all you need to be part of the new economy. Creator Economy 2.0 is live right now. For eligible creators who are currently publishing, we are backdating the engagement payouts to the beginning of this month. And for more details and to sign up, go to create.fortnite.com. Everything you've seen today represents Epic's biggest bet ever, the release of advanced tools that publish directly into Fortnite on PC, console, mobile, and cloud, lowering the barrier for developers to be part of one of the biggest entertainment ecosystems. We welcome anyone to join us in the future where original content is owned by its creators, where developer earnings are a function of fun, and where ecosystem can be directly linked through community language standards like Verse. So support, to support developers who adopt UEFN, we're broadening the Epic Mega Grants program to help teams bootstrap projects that use UEFN and Verse. We're just getting started, and we hope that you'll join us and help shape the future of development. Now we're gonna give you a look at what UEFN can do right inside Fortnite. After the video, Tim is gonna come back out to talk about Epic's future vision. Thank you very much.